China has just showcased something no nation has ever done before. Five distinct stealth fighter types flying together in one breathtaking demonstration. From the heavyweight J-20 in multiple new forms to the agile J-35, this was more than a show of aircraft. It was a declaration of technological confidence and rapid evolution. In this video, we'll unpack what exactly was revealed and what this leap means for the future of global aviation. The September 2025 parade in Beijing captured worldwide attention for a simple reason. It was the first time all of China's stealth fighters were revealed together in operational form. This display included not only familiar aircraft, but also entirely new configurations that signal how quickly China's aviation industry is advancing. The sequence began with the baseline J-20, an aircraft that first entered service in 2017. What stood out in this parade was not just its sleek design, but the confirmation that it was powered by China's own WS-10C engines. This marks a break from earlier reliance on imported Russian engines, underlining the country's growing independence in aerospace technology. The J-20 was also seen refueling mid-air from a YY-20 tanker, an image carefully chosen to demonstrate extended reach. Air-to-air -air refueling capability is crucial for operations over the Pacific's vast distances, and the YY-20 significantly multiplies the fighter's already impressive endurance. Following the baseline model came the J-20S, the world's first operational twin-seat stealth fighter. First spotted in 2021 and confirmed for service in July 2025, the twin-seat design opens possibilities beyond traditional combat. With two crew members, the jet can manage complex missions involving advanced electronic systems, coordinate with uncrewed aircraft, or serve as a tactical command platform. This innovation gives the People's Liberation Army Air Force capabilities that even the U.S. has yet to field with its F-22 or F-35 fleets. Then came the modernized J-20A, distinguishable by its flatter canopy, redesigned nose radome, and raised spine. These changes aren't cosmetic. They contribute to improved stealth performance while making space for advanced systems. Analysts widely expect this variant to integrate the long-awaited WS-15 engines, which promise greater thrust and efficiency. If delivered as anticipated, the J-20A could match or surpass Western rivals in performance metrics such as supercruise and maneuverability. Beyond the visual spectacle, the September demonstration carried a deeper meaning. Every aircraft, formation, and capability highlighted was part of a carefully crafted message. On the technical front, the event underscored China's confidence in its ability to independently produce advanced engines, avionics, and airframes. On the strategic front, it projected an image of readiness and maturity in aerospace development. For domestic viewers, the parade was a moment of pride. It emphasized self-reliance, most notably, the shift from imported engines to homegrown power plants like the WS-10C and soon, the WS-15. Citizens could see tangible proof that their aerospace sector has grown from imitator to innovator in just over a decade. Internationally, the demonstration was equally significant. By unveiling three J-20 variants and two J-35 variants at once, China showed it is not merely catching up with Western aviation. It is offering a new kind of diversity no other nation fields. The United States may boast the F-22 and F-35, but both are single-seat platforms without twin-seat stealth or parallel procurement of two distinct fifth-generation designs. This unique mix sets China apart as a leader in experimentation and expansion. Equally important was the pairing of stealth fighters with support aircraft like the J-16D, a specialized electronic warfare platform. The inclusion of this aircraft alongside the stealth jets emphasized that modern air power isn't just about the fighters themselves. It's about integration, radar jamming, data sharing, and operational synergy. When stealth jets operate with dedicated electronic warfare assets, they gain an edge in suppressing defenses and coordinating larger missions. Another crucial element was the air-to-air -air refueling display. While the jets themselves are impressive, their effectiveness is magnified by the YY-20 tanker. Refueling allows extended patrols, long-range missions, 
and operational flexibility across wide regions like the South China Sea or beyond. By showing this mid-air, China highlighted its growing ability to sustain fighter operations far from home bases. The strategic implication is clear. China is positioning its air force and navy not just for defense, but for influence across regions. While the parade highlighted today's achievements, it also raised important questions about tomorrow. How long will these fifth-generation fighters remain the pinnacle of China's aviation, and what comes next? One answer arrived even before the parade. In late 2024, China revealed not one but two sixth-generation fighter designs at flight prototype stages, signaling its intent to move beyond current designs. Although still in testing stages, these aircraft are rumored to feature adaptive cycle engines, next-level stealth, advanced sensor fusion, enhanced networking abilities, and even potential laser or drone swarm integration. If they enter service in the early 2030s, they could quickly shift focus away from the J-20 and J-35. Their introduction would fundamentally reshape not only how China approaches air defense, but also how global aviation competitors respond to the next technological frontier. This creates a balancing act. On one side, China is ramping up production of J-20S and J-35S, ensuring they become the backbone of the Air Force and Navy. On the other side, resources must be preserved for the sixth-generation leap. Analysts suggest that once sixth-generation fighters prove viable, production of current models could taper off in favor of the newer designs. The September event may therefore represent the high-water mark of fifth-generation expansion before the pivot begins. This transition phase will be crucial because it will test how effectively China can manage both immediate operational readiness and long-term innovation simultaneously. There's also the question of doctrine. With two stealth fighters in parallel, China will need to define how to deploy them most effectively. The J-20's role as a long-range interceptor and command platform may pair well with the J-35's medium-weight flexibility, but the coordination of these roles in large-scale operations remains a learning process. Crafting this doctrine will be just as important as the aircraft themselves, since advanced tools require equally advanced strategies to unlock their full potential. Ultimately, the road ahead is about transition. The J-20 and J-35 represent the maturity of China's current generation of technology, while sixth-generation prototypes represent the next horizon. The September 2025 parade wasn't just a showcase of power today. It was a signal that tomorrow is already being carefully prepared for and shaped, with decisions made now influencing air power for decades. What we saw in September was more than aircraft flying in formation. It was a turning point in modern aviation. China is now the only nation operating two stealth fighter types in parallel, supported by a network of refueling and electronic warfare assets. This makes its air fleet not only diverse, but also deeply integrated. The true story, however, lies in what comes next. With six generation prototypes already in view, Today's cutting edge may soon be tomorrow's stepping stone. The parade was both a conclusion of one chapter and the opening of another, reminding the world that aviation is evolving faster than ever. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.